Have you ever wondered what's hiding beneath our feet? If we started digging into the ground, what do you think we'd find? Maybe worms? Rocks? Treasure? Today, we're going to explore what scientists discover when they dig deep down underground, and how the deeper we go, the older the discoveries become. Lots of people dig into the earth. Farmers dig to plant crops, builders dig to make room for houses, and sometimes we dig to find water. But some scientists dig for another reason. Do you know who? They're called paleontologists, and they study the history of life on Earth. Paleontologists dig to find fossils, the preserved remains of animals and plants from long ago. What do you think they hope to learn when they dig? You can do today's lesson with a Spike Essential Kit, a Lego Science Grades 3-5 through 5 Kit, or any set of Legos you have on your own. We won't be using any electronics today, so you can build along with the Legos you own. Here's something really cool. The Earth is made up of layers. Every time new dirt, sand, or mud piles up, it creates a new layer on top of the old one. That means the deeper down you go, the older the layer is. So if a paleontologist finds a fossil way underground, that fossil is much older than something closer to the surface. Let's look at a model to help us see what's underground. At the very top, we see a house and a tree, things from today. In the first underground layer, we find a bow and arrow. That tells us humans lived here long ago. A person who digs to find evidence of past humans is called an archaeologist. Go deeper, and wow, a Triceratops fossil. That means dinosaurs once walked here. And even deeper, we discover an Elasimosaurus, a giant marine reptile. That means this land used to be covered by an ocean. I bet if we look hard enough, we can also find Megalodon teeth. Isn't that amazing? What's land today might have been an ocean millions of years ago. Let's think together. What artifacts and fossils did we find in the different layers? What kinds of environments did those animals live in? Land, sea, or somewhere else? What does this tell us about how Earth has changed over time? That's the power of digging underground. Each layer is like a page in Earth's history book. Now it's your turn to imagine. If you could design a fossil for paleontologists to find in the future, what would it be? What kind of animal or plant would you build? What environment would it live in? What would its bones, shells, or leaves look like as a fossil? Go ahead and build this with your Legos, or draw it. What can we learn by digging in the earth? Think about one fossil or artifact we talked about today. What does it tell you about what the world used to look like? That's how paleontologists help us understand our planet's past, and why every layer underground has a story to tell. Here's your challenge. Can you build a model that shows the layers of the Earth? Your top layer should be the modern layer, with a modern building, or a living person. Your next layer down should have human remains, like our bow and arrow, or maybe another artifact that an archaeologist would discover. Your third layer. Build a dinosaur, a fossil, something that a paleontologist would be excited to discover. And even deeper, build a different type of fossil, something that's even older, but was still on the Earth millions of years ago. Share what you make, and I can't wait to see how you explore. Thanks for digging deep with me today. If you want to learn more about Earth, fossils, the history of life, make sure to check out some of our other videos for the FLL Unearthed season. And remember, the ground beneath your feet holds secrets millions of years old.